Tonight, we're getting more answers for you as to why the monoclonal antibody treatment for COVID is no longer being offered in Pueblo County. The Pueblo Department of Public Health put out a notice yesterday saying the treatment site off West 13th and North Grand Avenue is now closed. News 5's Ashley Portillo explains the reason for that decision. 95% of COVID cases in Colorado and Pueblo County are the Omicron variant. Omicron is, has surged so, so quickly. It has been so transmissible that it's been causing a lot of problems. And now two of the three monoclonal antibody treatments are not as effective. The monoclonal antibody treatments, one is still very effective against the Omicron variants. The other two are less effective. Dr. Richard Vu's statement was also backed by officials with the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment on Wednesday afternoon. Primarily the, the challenge with effectiveness of monoclonal antibodies is related to the, the large number of mutations that are present in the Omicron variant. The state epidemiologist said the effectiveness of monoclonal therapies is similar to waning immunity and decreased vaccine effectiveness. Plus, the treatment is in very short supply at the federal and state level. At one point, we were receiving almost 4,000 doses a week when we had multiple monoclonal antibodies available to us. Now, the state of Colorado is receiving about 300 doses per week um, for the entire state. So, incredibly limited supply. And now, local health departments and doctors like Dr. Vu don't know when the treatments will return. The uh, monoclonal antibody bus was a great uh, uh, access point for patients with COVID-19. Uh, I don't have any insight of when it's going to be back. In Pueblo, Ashley Portillo, News 5. When the Pueblo Health Department was approached by the state and the federal government in late 2021 to set up a monoclonal antibody treatment site, they said the site was only going to be here for a month. Meantime, over the